And now let's talk about getting more kids into aviation, and more specifically, using aviation to get more kids into STEM programs. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. This week, more than 300 teachers and others interested in STEM education programs gathered in Louisville, Kentucky. They came from some 40 states to AOPA's fourth annual high school aviation STEM symposium. They included both teachers already using the AOPA curriculum. What I was really surprised with when I started teaching the AOPA STEM curriculum was the smiles on the kids' faces when we did the projects. Uh, when we built the wind tunnel and we started testing things and did the heavy lift, heavy lift balloon program, it was fun. And so I think that to show the kids that it's fun and engaging and expose them to something they're not as familiar with. Uh, aviation for most young people is, is uh, a foreign subject. And so we're bringing it to them, we're making it accessible, and, we're ha and they're having a good time learning it. And those looking to see what a difference aviation STEM programs could make in their schools. I've actually learned quite a bit and uh, we'll be able to share quite a bit of information with the folks at our school. The OPA 9th grade aviation STEM curriculum is being taught in some 80 schools nationwide. The 10th grade program is now being field tested in 25 schools and teachers who use the AOPA material say it makes a huge impact. Our kids are alive. They're excited. They're going to their science teachers. Hey, how come we're not doing these cool projects? Aviation's done really cool stuff. The math department's like, wait a minute, how are you bringing this all to life? I'm like, it is all AOPA. You can fly. It is amazing. These kids are excited. They're wanting to be in school. They want to stay in school. Can I skip fifth period to hang out with aviation 10th graders? No, you have to get the class. And that's where it all starts snowballing. Parents are getting excited. As we've already mentioned, the AOPA high school program is all about getting more kids interested in STEM subjects. There's an even more important goal, though, bringing more girls and minorities into aviation and technical fields. Many of the speakers at the symposium talked about how diversity makes the industry better. Because diversity enhances perspective and it helps us see things through a different lens. Sometimes seeing things that quite frankly we didn't know were there before just because other people see them differently. Well, what is diversity? And we say, well, is it racial, ethnic, gender diversity and this visible diversity we see? Or is it diversity of thought, diversity of background, diversity of experience, diversity of knowledge? Why is it either or? Why can't it be both? And in fact, a lot of the times when you go and you kind of quote unquote focus on that gender, ethnic, racial diversity, you're going to get some of those quote unquote lesser included things with them. And one of the great examples of that is the famed Tuskegee Airmen that uh, Houston Captain Mills was talking about earlier. The Tuskegee Airmen helped us win World War II, hands down, period, dot. And the reason why they were able to do it is because they were such great pilots because they had a different perspective. 